Hello people of YouTube, my name is Brad, this is my channel Animate Orange, and welcome to another Metal Earth Legends review. We've got kind of a special one right here. We've got Gold Marvin the Martian build, complete with a little tiny gun. This is the gold version. If you don't know, basically what you had to do is when all the Marvin or when all the Looney Tunes models came out, click the whole set, send it in proof of purchase, and if supply, while supplies last, you could get the gold Marvin the Martian. I did not actually do that. This was sent to me by Andrew on a screen, one of my uh, viewers and Patreon supporters, for me to build. So thank you very much, Andrew. We are going to look into this model, look in the instructions, see what it's all about. From what I've seen so far, this builds exactly like the regular Marvin the Martian's Legends build. So the gold, and if you have the colored, the instructions you're about to see apply to both. Let's go to the table, open up, see what's inside, and put this together. And here we have the package as it arrived. Well, out of the package. Keep on keeping on, Andrew. Thank you very much, Andrew, for sending me this model. Let's open it up and see what's inside. A little tap to get the instructions out of the way. So I have ripped those before. What do we have? We have one plus metal sheets. We have the usual size. And we have a little bitty extra one. This is a quarter. Yeah, it's like a quarter sheet. So one and a quarter sheets. We have the instructions. Blank on one side. Instructions on the other. We'll come back to that because I see one more thing. Congratulations. Well done, collector. Enjoy your time assembling your limited edition model. You deserve it. Don't forget to share your achievement on social media with the hashtag MetalEarthFan. Nice little promotional piece. Most people have probably already gotten and built those theirs, but I'm going to enjoy building this one. Just in case you haven't got to it. And the assumption that this is building very much like the uh, full version, the, not full version, but the regular colored version. Let's go over the instructions ever so briefly. I folded paper in half so it'll fit on the screen. At the top we've got the Metal Earth Legends logo with a drawing of the sheet or sheets and outline of Marvin and the sheet again. If we orient this the same way, which I think I have, you see that basically all the parts are numbered. So you can find easily find and cut out the parts. And they've got two parts here colored with a very bluish, slightly blue-gray color, and those parts are the same parts. This is a tactic they started some time back where they color the same parts the same colors. You can easily find them, so these two parts are the same. I've only numbered them once. Below that we have a sample part with a notation about fold lines, insertion holes, and insertion tabs, tabs go in holes, fold lines are pre-scored areas where you fold something. And then we've got the usual legends, blue circle, means to insert a tab in a slot, fold it over 90 degrees, green triangle, insert a tab, twist it 90 degrees. Usually the blue circle, the folded tabs are parts that you see on the outside and twisted tabs are on the inside because they are more secure, but folded are neater looking. We have a QR code and the website to see a 360 view if you need it for reference. You can spin the part around on your computer screen or phone screen and look at a part you maybe you're having difficulty. What does the final part look like? Below that we have the assembly instructions starting with part one. The red indicates that that area is folded. The arrows indicate how to fold it. And then we've got part two. And they come together. Actually, they kind of flip and come together like so. You end up with this. And the red indicates there's more folding. Red's more folding. And there's your final part. And that's the gist of it. You follow through. Jump over here to this quarter with part three. Basically the same step for the other leg. Down here in part five that attaches to the two. And you just follow through, do with assemblies and sometimes sub-assemblies all the instructions, put it together, jump down here to page three, or quarter for page three, continue on over here for the final few steps, and once you get to the bottom, you're done with your model. We've gone over the instructions briefly. We've got our sheets, both metal sheets and instruction sheets at the ready. We've got some basic tools. These Legends models are usually pretty simple and don't require a lot of tools. I've got my tweezers, I've got some flat nose pliers just in case, and a couple of my rounded 3D printed tools for maybe shaping the feet or the, the, the elbows or shoulders depending on what I run into. I may not even need these. But let's get started and put this together.
I did not get the curve right on the first try with the foot, nor the second. I gave the first two tabs a light twist to hold them in place for now. To get that other tab in its slot, I had to push the end of the upper part of the toe out slightly past the bottom part of the toe or foot. I did a little better on the second foot, but only a little. Again, I had to push the top edge of the toe over the bottom edge and slightly below it to get that tab in its slot. Now to clean up some twisted tabs. I appreciate that there are three tabs on the hand so that you can't accidentally put it on backwards.
I left one side of the hand open so I could more easily attach the gun pieces. I had to work the tabs outward as I lowered the hand into position. There was not enough room for the tabs to push straight through.
I held this side of the visor in place with one set of tweezers while securing the tabs with another set. Make sure you fold this back flap in a little bit before attaching Marvin's face or you might not be able to fold it in afterwards. 